This video will show you step-by-step -step how to install your VDB750 doorbell. If you're replacing an existing slimline doorbell camera using a backplate adapter, check out telus.com slash smarthomeguides for installation steps. In your box, you'll find your video doorbell, wall plate with pre-assembled set screw and wire terminal screws, wall anchors, a drill bit, an installation card with a scannable QR code, and a mechanical chime dongle. For the installation, you'll also need a wired doorbell transformer. We recommend 16 VAC or 10 VA or a power supply with minimum 15 VDC 8W. A Wi-Fi connection to broadband internet. This should be a minimum of 2.5 megabits per second. We recommend testing the Wi-Fi at the location of the doorbell prior to installation to ensure you have appropriate signal strength a screwdriver, pliers or wire strippers, and a computer, tablet, or smartphone device to connect your doorbell to the network. If your chime is digital, a separate digital circuit adapter is required, which can be purchased at telus.com slash works with. The first step in the installation process is to turn off the power to the doorbell circuit or transformer. Remove any existing power module or digital circuit adapter from any previous doorbell installations. Verify that the Chime wire terminals are connected to one wire run from the transformer and one wire run from the doorbell. Next, determine if you have a digital or mechanical chime. You can tell if yours is mechanical because there'll be a metal chime that is physically hit by a striker. If yours is digital, you'll see a speaker that plays the doorbell sound. For a mechanical chime, no action is necessary. For a digital chime, you'll need the digital circuit adapter. Connect the digital circuit adapter to the chime by connecting one wire to each of the terminals, leaving the existing wires in place. Polarity doesn't matter. If there is no wired in-home chime, verify that the power source, AC or DC, meets the product requirements and wired directly to the doorbell. Polarity doesn't matter. Next, you'll need to remove the existing doorbell from the wall and disconnect the wires. Make sure to secure the wires so that they can be connected in a later step. Thread the doorbell wires through the wall plate, making sure to thread the wires underneath the plastic bridges of the wall plate leading to the screw terminals. Then, secure the wall plate to the screw terminals. Make sure you don't have excess wire leads protruding from the area surrounding the screw terminals. Excess wire can interfere with the assembly and might result in the device not powering on. You're now ready to mount your wall plate directly to the wall using the provided screws and anchors. If you're mounting on wood, vinyl, or aluminum, you can screw directly into the wall. If your wall is stucco, brick, or stone, you'll need the provided masonry drill bit and wall anchors. You should have the height less than two meters or six feet, seven inches from the ground and in a vertical orientation. You're now ready to connect the doorbell camera to the wall plate. First, secure or latch the top edge, then push the device into the wall plate and secure the bottom set screw with a screwdriver. You can now restore power to the doorbell circuit. The final step is connecting the doorbell to the network by using the TELUS Smart Home application on your phone. Log in to the TELUS Smart Home app, click on the menu button on the top left corner, select Add Device, select Doorbell Camera, select ADC VDB750. Follow the steps within the app to add the ADC VDB750 to the Wi-Fi network. The LED may briefly turn red before blinking green. When the connection is complete, the LED will turn solid green. If you notice that your mechanical chime is making a rattling or humming sound or producing false rings, this may be due to the power source not supplying sufficient voltage to the doorbell. Installing the mechanical chime dongle can help address this issue. To install, you'll need to turn off the power to the doorbell circuit again. Remove the chime cover and any existing power module or resistor from the chime. Verify that the chime wire terminals are connected to one wire run from the transformer and one wire run from the doorbell. Connect one wire from the mechanical chime dongle to each of the chime terminals, making sure to leave the existing wires already connected to them in place. Polarity doesn't matter. Tuck the mechanical chime dongle into the chime, but avoid any interference with the plungers. Then replace the chime cover and restore power to the doorbell circuit. And your doorbell installation is complete. 
To watch our other smart home installation videos or for troubleshooting help, visit telus.com smarthomeguides smart home guides.